together a few minutes before midnight, we walk down the hall, and I walk in front, much like a pastor would lead a, a casket to the grave. Sometimes I'll read a scripture, sometimes we'll walk in silence. One time we had a hymn playing. At this point, I stop and either shake hands with the condemned man, or I embrace him, or say a prayer to myself for him. And then he goes into the room, I go into the viewing room. At this point, there's a team of 12 correctional officers that has a designated task to do, which is to um, take off the leg shackles, the handcuffs, and prepare the inmate for execution. The inmate is placed into the chair, and the members of this execution team has a designated task to complete. Uh, the inmate is strapped into the chair, the leg irons are removed from him, the handcuffs are removed from him, and all the belts are checked and double-checked. At that time, when everything it seems to be in working order, all the correctional officers leave except two. At this time I walk in and read the death warrant to the inmate. Once the death warrant is read to him, I ask him if he has any last statement. The last one was that he held no ill feelings toward me or any of the staff. He stated that he knew God, had found God, and knew God would protect him. At that time, I leave the room I walk next door where the commissioner's on the phone with someone in the governor's office. I ask him if there's been any last minute stays. He advised me that they have not. And I leave this room. I come back into the death chamber. I advise the two officers to make the man ready. This includes final preparation of tightening the strap, put, putting the helmet on, plugging the chair in to the power source. And the last thing, the hood goes over. At that time, I leave. I come directly from the death chamber after the hood has been placed on. At this time, they're making last minute preparations of the straps to be sure they're all tight. During that brief period of a few seconds, the equipment is engaged. This lever here is engaged, this one here is engaged, and so is this one. We wait until the last officer is out of the death chamber. At that time, he puts the ready sign in the little window. We wait for him to leave the death chamber and hear the door slam. An officer out here gives us a signal that it's ready. At that time, the switch is thrown. When the master switch is thrown, the amps go up to about eight. Volts go up to approximately 1,850. There's two surges once the switch is thrown. They're approximately 34 seconds each. They're automatic. After the second one, the machine shuts itself down.